So there was a king who had his prize minister. And he finally got a deal with another country to make a meeting. He never had peace with this country. Finally, he's going to make peace, and he wants to send his best minister to go and talk and to make negotiations and to make peace and to become friends with that country. So he tells him, one thing I ask of you, that before you go, never make a bet with them. Whatever you do, don't make ever bet with them. Just go, have tea with them, achok muchi, bye-bye. So he goes, no problem. So he goes, and he travels to another country, and he sits with them, they give him a grand banquet, they give him a nice tea, they sit him in a nice royal room, and they have a conversation with him. And then they said, you know what? We wanted to ask you, I'm sorry, it's a little bit inappropriate, but we want to ask you. We feel comfortable with you. We know, we have a rumor in our country that people from your country, everybody has 11 toes. That's the rumor that's going around. And we were betting, we were all betting, and we want to know, is it true? And he says, no, it's not true. He said, we believe it. We think it's true. We're willing to put money on it. So this guy thought, what a bunch of suckers. I'm going to get their money. Okay, let's bet. People started betting. People got so into it. The bet was a million dollars. A million dollars says that this guy has 11 toes. And he says, if I prove it to you guys and I don't have 11 toes, you have to give me a million dollars. They said, here, Anna, Chimadan, ready to go. It's over here on the table. Cold, hard cash. He said, okay, let's go. He takes off his shoe. Everybody looks. He has 10 toes. Wow, he doesn't have 11 toes. He said, Bechavo, here you go. He won the lottery. He got a million dollars. He's so happy. He comes home to the king. He says, he throws it on the table. He says, here you go. Job well done. I got you a million dollars, plus I made peace with them. He says, no, why? He starts crying. He says, King, why are you crying? I got you a million dollars. And then Chimadan. He says, no, I lost nine million dollars just now. Nine million dollars? What are you talking about? He says, I made a bet with them before you left that my minister, he's so good, he's so trustworthy, I'm going to tell him something, he's never going to go against my word. What did I tell you? Don't make any bets with them. I bet on you that you're not going to make a bet. What did you do? You made a bet. You thought you made me a million dollars, you just lost me ten million dollars. I made a bet for ten million dollars. You got me one, but I gave them nine. So therefore, you know, he didn't really gain anything. So the person thinks, no, I have to work. No, no time for Torah learning. Oh, I have to sleep in. No time for our prayers. Oh, I have to go and spend Shabbat doing, hanging out with my buddies, sleeping in, eating all this yummy stuff. No time for Torah learning. No time for Hashem. And the person thinks he's gaining a million dollars. Hashem says, you don't realize, you just missed all these mitzvot, you lost $10 million. You understand? You think you're gaining now, but really later you'll realize how much you lost. So we should all be zocheh to remind ourselves, HaKadosh Baruch Hu knows how much we stand to gain, and we don't realize how much we stand to lose. So besides Hashem, we should always follow Hashem's mitzvot, and be zocheh to lishmor, la'aso, l'kayim, et divrei Torah Baruch Amen, amen.